Week speaks. Murder of Heli Crafts. Heli Crafts, born Heli Lork Nielsen, was a Danish flight attendant murdered by her husband, airline pilot Richard Crafts. Her death led to the first murder conviction in Connecticut without the victim's body. Disappearance. Heli Nielsen and Richard Crafts married in 1979 and settled in Newtown, Connecticut. Heli continued working while raising their three children. By 1985, Heli had learned about Richard's several affairs and began divorce proceedings. On the night of November 19, 1986, a friend dropped Heli off at the couple's home. This was the last time anyone but her husband saw her. Over the next few weeks, Heli's husband gave her friends a variety of stories as to why they were unable to reach her, she was visiting her mother in Denmark, he did not know where she was, she was with a friend in the Canary Islands. Because friends knew about Richard's aggression and temper, they grew concerned, Heli had told some of them, if something happens to me, don't think it was an accident. Investigation A snowplow driver who knew Crafts had seen him towing a wood chipper near the shore of Lake Zor during a severe snowstorm, late on a night soon after Heli was last seen. Crafts was a part-time constable in Newtown, and was well known to police. In or near the water's edge where he had been seen, police found many pieces of metal and some three ounces, 85 grams, of human tissue, including the crown of a tooth, a fingernail covered in pink nail polish, bone chips, 2,660 bleached blonde human hairs, and O-type blood, which was the same type as Heli's. This led the police to conclude the remains had likely been fed through the wood chipper crafts had been seen towing. The forensic investigation was led by Henry Lee, who at the time was an investigator for the Connecticut State Police. In the Crafts' home, police found pieces of carpet taken from the master bedroom floor. The family's nanny recalled that a dark, grapefruit-sized stain had appeared in an area of the carpet, which was later missing. There was also a blood smear on the side of the bed. Crafts's credit card records showed several unusual purchases around the time Heli vanished, including a freezer that was not found in the house, bed sheets, a comforter, quilt, duvet, and rental of a wood chipper. Among papers provided to a private investigator by Richard Crafts was a receipt for a chainsaw, which was later found in Lake Zor in Newtown, Connecticut, covered in hair and blood matched to Heli by DNA. Investigators concluded that Crafts struck Heli in the head with something blunt at least twice, leaving the blood stains found, then kept her body in the freezer for some days to make sure she was frozen solid. He then cut her apart with the chainsaw, and then put the pieces through the wood chipper, possibly projecting her fragmented remains out into the water from the shore. A homicide prosecution requires an official determination of the death of the alleged victim, typically this is done by identification of a body which was not available in this case. With the help of a forensic dentist, the tooth crown found on the water's edge was positively matched to Heli's dental records. On this evidence, the Connecticut State Medical Examiner's Office issued a death certificate, Crafts was arrested in January 1987. In preparation for trial, State Medical Examiner H. Wayne Carver obtained a pig carcass that was fed through a wood chipper. The shape of, and marks on, the pig's bone chips after this process were similar to the shape of Heli's bone fragments, strengthening the hypothesis that Crafts had used a chipper to dispose of his wife's body. Crafts's trial began in May 1988 in New London, Connecticut, where it was moved due to extensive local publicity, and ended in July with a hung jury when a single juror refused to vote for guilt. A second trial, in Norwalk, Connecticut, ended in a guilty verdict on November 21, 1989. Crafts was sentenced to serve 50 years in prison. He will be eligible for parole in 2021. In popular culture, the special edition DVD of the 1996 film Fargo contains a statement that the film was inspired by the Heli Crafts case. In The Good Doctor, an episode of Law and Order, Criminal Intent, the investigation into the missing wife of a plastic surgeon leads to a successful conviction without a corpse, under the theory that the body was dissolved in sulfuric acid in the bathtub, and the bones dumped out of the husband's single-engine aircraft. The opening episode of Forensic Files was about Heli's murder. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. For more content with Wiki Speaks.